Hello, my name is Sofanispa Nguizola. I'm also known as Sofanispa Nguizola or Sofanispa Nguiziola. I am an Italian Renaissance painter. I was born in the Lombard town of Cremona, a city in northern Italy, in 1532. Standing here, I will be talking about my life accomplishments and various extensive areas of my talents as a Renaissance woman. Women in Renaissance Italy were generally barred from becoming apprentices to various things. One of the areas that were especially restrictive for women, women was art, or those very few female artists tended to come from where a father or one of their family members was an artist. Um, in this way, they could receive training and bypass the apprenticeship system. However, none of my family members was an artist. Instead, I, I studied with other artists with my contemporaries Bernardino Campi, as well as Bernardino Gatti, who exposed me to the fundamentals of painting. Overcoming this social obstacle, I have become the first woman artist to gain world renown. At first, I was famous for my self-portraiture and paintings of my family members. One of the most famous works of mine is a game of chess, drawn in 1555. This piece of art is a portrait of my sisters playing a chess game and this picture includes every detail of my sister's facial expressions, their actions, therefore people praise this work. Beyond the group portraits, I was also famous for my self-portraits. I drew myself beside the canvas holding a palette and mall stick. This way of paint painting was not easily seen at the time and this became popular among artists. In order to promote and define myself to people, I used my self-portrait drawing skill toward creating official portraits of Spanish royal houses and began to draw portraits of prominent people such as King Philip II of Spain. As my drawings became popular uh, among nobilities, I was invited to Spanish court at the age of 26 and I got a chance to be a tutor of the Spanish queen, Elizabeth of Valois, who was a keen amateur painter. However, since women artists were not greatly welcomed by most people at the time, I stayed in the Spanish court as a lady-in-waiting, but still served as a court painter. I was a it was a turning point in my career. I later became an official court painter and drew official portraits for the Spanish court. After a few years, uh, King Philip helped arrange a marriage for me, and I got married. Unlike many other women artists who unfortunately had to give up their art upon marriage, I continued to paint after the marriage. From then, I traveled to many places and kept working on my drawings. To talk about extensive and various areas of my talents, I will first like to express myself as an artist. I have the ability to create lifelike, realistic, sophisticated vitality and naturalisms of my portraits that are intellectually engaging and flattering at the same time. I was described as a marvel of nature and my work as a marvel of art by many famous artists around the world and this is one of the reasons I could become internationally famous. Besides my drawing skill, I am also noted to be virtuous and beautiful, a superbly educated conversationalist. I am also accomplished in music and a charming dancer, all of which endeared me to the Spanish and Italian nobility and did not threaten the cultural norms about what women could or could not do. The second talent um, I am proud of is education. I am a highly educated woman and I am proud of this because it is very rare to see a woman being educated during the Renaissance era. My five sisters and I were all given a Renaissance humanist education and our parents encouraged our individual artistic. In another way, I could also be expressed as a traveler. I have experience of living in various areas including Italy and Spain. Before I moved to the Spain, I traveled to Rome and Milan. After the marriage, I began to travel to various places and continued working on my drawings. I moved to Sicily and later Pisa and Genoa to practice as a leading portrait painter. Due to frequent travels to various areas, I got the ability to speak various languages. Using my artistic talents, I used to serve as a tutor of the Spanish queen, Elizabeth of Valois, at the Spanish court. One of the most important identities of myself is being an innovative person. Starting from myself becoming the first woman artist to gain worldly renown, 
more women artists began to gain more attention internationally. I caused a social change due to my great success, and it opened the way for larger numbers of women to pursue serious careers as artists. Lastly, the most crucial talent of mine is creativity. My most distinctive and attractive paintings are my portraits of myself and my family. At the Spanish court, I painted foremost state portraits in the prevailing official style. Later in my life, I also painted religious subjects. All are different in styles and moods, but all pieces were famous among people. All these accomplishments I made will be known in history. Because as I became worldly famous for my artistic works, I caused changes in perception around the world. In an era when there were many restrictions on social activities for women, I caused changes in the perception that women became able to engage in social activities. I showed the world that women could also participate in social activities and become what they want to be. I proved that. I became a popular dancer, painter, musical artist, causing change, realizing my dream, being innovative, and leading the trend. I could say that I am a Renaissance woman. Thank you.